Oh man. That's a good one. Guy's drunk driver. Flies off the freeway and he's pinned against the wall and stuck in deep mud. We'll get my uh, Olight flashlight so we can check it out. You ready, Dave? Oh, I got my flashlight too. I got two flashlights. Nice. Well, he said it's pinned against the wall. It's physically stuck. So check this out. Where this, when it's this guy moves, uh -huh. we'll put Hulk here. And I'll go off the side and I'll attach like the rims or something like that to pull it this way, but it's stuck in the mud. So you could probably face that way or they're gonna, they're actually close this off. Okay. So we got all this room. You can winch it back while I hold it here from scraping against the wall. Okay. The guy was deuce and flew off the freeway. Yeah. yeah so let's check out the mud on this side he was talking about. This is a very complicated job just because of the building. You don't want to cause more damage than what happened. Oh, it's gonna cost quite a bit of money to fix. Ooh. Sharp glass. Oh man, I'm already sinking. Okay. Yeah, very soft. Hello. <laughs> Oh man. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yeah, dude, the plates are already touching the bottom. Yeah. And the tires. Yes, yeah, I see. And then you're pinched in between sidewalk on this side. See how the tires are stuck? It What's it loaded with? So these rocks, once it started to catch right here, slowed them down and it sunk in because of the, the mud actually worked to his favor. So guys, what we're gonna do. It can't even get here though. We'll go to the front. Yeah, split it, split it. Yeah, but. Why? Because it's so sunken? And then it's right here, the tires. Mm -hmm. Our company that's going to be boarding this up for us. Yes. And we're just wondering, like, time wise, how, do you, how long do you think this is probably going to I mean, I know it's kind of hard to. Two hours, maybe? Maybe yeah. a couple hours. Yeah. yeah. Two hours to be safe because we have to split it, get the truck crib and all that, and yeah. it's a delta. We can't just rush it. Okay, yeah. But oh, I can't yeah, see definitely. this taking more than two hours. Yeah, probably max. Um, yeah, yeah, and this, that's the main thing. I mean, we'd rather take the time to kind of pull it away so we're trying to save the building as much as possible. Yeah. And All right, great. let me get my truck in then. I see that. And then just pull in here, bro. All back in. Yeah, so you can get right here. Perfect. We'll start right. with here. So Dave's idea is he's gonna split it, which is smart. I don't know why I try to pull the whole thing out. So we'll split it. I'm gonna park Hulk right here where that guy's standing, the building supervisor. We ran the game plan by him and he likes it. I'm gonna lift up the front of the trailer. We'll split it. And as Dave winches back, I'll keep it in the air because that landing gear is gonna get caught. And then we'll worry about the, the dump truck next. Be a lot easier with my truck right here on the grass. What a job, huh? All right, Hulk is in position. This is gonna be fun. Get my Arager pads right here. my cool new uh, strap thank you Alex Hulk edition <laughs> sweet 
for my rotator remote. Alright, I will activate my free spawn. I'll stand on this side to walk it out. Man, dude, this guy was drunk. And as horrible as this is, he did not hit a car. This Super 10 with this trailer coming off the exit that fast would have destroyed anything in its path if he hit it. I'm very fortunate for that at least. You know what? I don't need this. I'm going to cut this. I'm just going to get in my way. It's nice to work this job with Dave, by the way. I've been doing a lot of day calls and posting Alex's content lately. I haven't done one with Dave in a while. Careful with that tree. So right there. Stand out. More than likely, I'm going to use my frame grab hooks. And number two. This looks like a government building, like a city hall kind of place. I'm not sure. All right. Now two, if you could see up there, counteract the tree. Oh, I know what to do. Stand over here so I can get a better glimpse. Well, I'm good right here. How about there? That's just the tip. Uh, to counteract it. Maybe I can go incredibly low on the boom. Oh yeah, that's very low. I don't see why that's not too bad. If I swing all the way, there's no branches here. It's just leaves. Oh yeah, perfect. I like this. Good. Now I just gotta figure out if I can hook from right here. Duh, the landing gear. If I go right here, there's a chance it could slide.
One more. Put some tension on that baby. I'm already moving it with ease. Now for this part. Should pop off. What I'll do is I can always uh, lift up. I think there's just a slight tension there. But it's moving pretty good and that should pop right off oh yeah I don't even need my hammer or anything I'll just ah <laughs> perfect so far so good man and then we'll get rid of this guy's safety chains <sighs> Perfect. Yeah. Uh, high risk job. Looks tough on paper, but so far, as long as we stick to the plan, it should be a pretty simple job. Easy does it. All right, now all the glad hands and the electrical lights are removed. And I'm gonna give it a little bit of tension to pop out of the hitch. It's airborne, it's free. Perfect for Dave to winch back now. So this one's pretty easy. Instead of a low line from that angle because of the curve here, this is elevated. You're gonna pull it down. Dave's just gonna attach to the trailer itself using his boom lines for an easy, nice, and controlled winch. I'm holding it there at like sub 10 degrees. That's pretty cool. And as I rotate back, once I get to this tree, Remember, I already tested it. I'm not going to hit anything. I can get as far as right here. I'll drop, tuck in my boom, rotate out, and then finish the job off the front. All right, so Dave's ready. As he puts tension, let me just turn off my idle. I only need that when I'm setting up the truck. Just take this off. Ready when you are, Dave. So the important thing is that I have more tension on the Y cable so this thing doesn't swing over into the wall. See, there's already a hole right there. It can get caught in all that. And the landing gear has to stay above the ground. Otherwise, it's just going to get stuck in the dirt and dig itself in. I hear it. <laughs> awesome. Let's go some more. I feel comfortable.
Yeah, that's it. Re-rig time. Let me let me re-rig now. That was fun. So now we gotta go on the opposite side of the tree uh, to finish the job. Just take that off. Should I, uh, should I go forward? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. All right, to do this successfully, we have to just drive forward. Instead of uh, going around the tree. Uh, Dave's gonna let me know when. I'm pretty much gonna stay on this path. All I gotta do is drive forward and then when I'm ready for the dump truck I just drive backwards in a straight line all right so we're playing this smart I moved up ahead enough to do this in one more shot from here I'm able to extend all the way out to the rear <clears throat> And as I rotate it to my front, they was gonna keep winching it back and we're gonna straighten it out to already face the freeway because we're towing this out of here. Oh yeah, baby. Outriggers down. Now for the fun part. I'm not gonna go to the landing gear no more. Yeah? Well, I got them on the landing gear, hooked back to themselves. Yeah? Okay. I told the guy two hours, but man, we'll be done way before that. Better safe than sorry, though. Got reach? Rock and roll. Let me retract in a little bit. Oh, and the sprinklers just came on. That's classic. Go for it, Dave. Setting up on the white cable and even it out. Both cables now. Let me let 
to catch up. What I'll do too is start retracting in. So as I rotate that way. Oh yeah. See? Go for it! All right, now push it to me. Yes. Good. Now we straighten it out. Good. Extend out. Shoot, that's good from there, right? That's good. You drop your end and I'll straighten out the front. Raise up your lines a little bit though. We'll get it a little higher. Good bro, good. Do you have any, uh, any room to push it out that way? And then just boom down. Once you get touched on, I'll do the rest. Just wanna see how far you can get it. Is that the news chopper? Good. Perfect, dude. Drop it there and I'll, I'll put the landing gear down. Well, that was cool. You know what? Since Dave's going to tow it. I don't really think it needs to be down that much. You can always lift it. That should be good. Oh yeah, look how close I got it too.
right. You're next. All right, we're already fixing this. It'll mess it up. Waste no time on this. Okay, guys, the strongest point is going to be that pinnel hook. Those D rings on the side are, are so weak. I'm thinking of just using my Bailey's Platinum sling, which is 30,000 pounds in a vertical. And as far as slings go, horribly, and I mean horribly in a good way, resist it uh, to cuts and tears. So. The hitch that's on the inside, it's gonna be pushing up against here. That's what this baby, that's where this thing shines. I was like one of the first, I think the first to test this out before Bailey started selling them. Now the plan is to get this away from the wall. I wanna put the driver tires on this sidewalk and out of this mud. Look at all that water. Ew, and the sprinklers just had to go off, man. That's just the way it works. Uh-oh, I'm sinking. Just throw that puppy in there. Oh yeah, that's cool. And it's got plenty, it's 10 foot long. So it'll clear this and then some. And as you can see, my line of action is going to be just on the inside of this tree. That's what I want. Yeah. Same way we got the other one out. Yeah. Very carefully. <laughs> no problem, man. So it looks like this place, it says Care More Health. Some kind of medical building. Let's get one of my big boy shackles. This one, oh yeah, 18 tons, wide body shackle, contoured perfectly for my full work and all the limit strength on the straps. What now? Alex. Now we got a two, two west north 157 and the 210. My dad's gonna have to run one. Alex is going there too now. Dad wants to go too. Shh. Huh? Probably just pull from there too then, huh? Absolutely, dude. You know what? We'll see if it turns out. It rolls out. It turns on at least, you know? And then Ricardo's there and he's on the 91 now, so. Okay. Looks like it's a very busy night, guys. Rain? 
<laughs> All right, I think I'm good to go. So I'm right there on the pinwheel hook. I got my Bailey's sleeve cut in half. And then I got one up here also. Like I said, this is durable, but all the protection I can get, I'll take. Oh, I know I just stepped in mud. All I need to do is put those tires right here. We'll stand right here. Oh yeah. See, I don't want to give any chance to fate. And by that, if you see my line of action is this way, a little bit diagonal, not a straight vertical lift. I don't want to risk this thing going into the building. <laughs> I love it. Just a little bit more. Come on, that was cool. Success. Now the front part's gonna be very easy. On this one, we're gonna use two lines. All right. Step one's done. Awesome, yeah. Step two is to get the front over here. Yeah, that went, man, I, you, I was in there and I saw it moving. Oh man, I gotta get up there and shoot it today. Like, oh yeah. yeah. You guys picked it up and moved it with all that weight in there. I don't drive the Hulk for nothing. Yeah. A beautiful truck. It'd be embarrassing if I had the Hulk on my truck and I couldn't do something like this. Because hey, then who the hell do they call? Right? Perfect timing. Ricardo's one of our newest drivers and uh, was finishing up a job local. So Dave had the genius idea to just roll him out here in unit 90 and tow this thing out of here. Oh, well, I just finished getting this thing all the way onto the, the curb on the back. Now while I focus and I do the front, by the time I'm done, Ricardo will have this out of here. And Dave and I can focus on the dump truck. VIP! This, this is a VIP job. It's a VIP job. Finally, it's good one, huh? Nice, nice way to park the car. If you guys seen a few videos ago, I posted a a training rollover that was him ricardo fast learner let's let's disattach love these ah. 30 000 pounds in a vertical just like that now this one's gonna be a slightly more of a pain for the sole reason of uh, this tree right here. Mm. 
I definitely can't go to the engine frame. I mean, it's just to get a better angle. Completely impossible. So right here, straight ahead, is my best bet. I just don't want my lines uh, to push up against this box. Let me, the guy said like 60,000 pounds, but that includes the tractor. He's gotta have every bit of 30 to 35,000 pounds of dirt in this. Let me check. Oh, wow. Obviously, it all shifted to the front. Maybe that's why it was pretty easy to lift up the back. It's all in the front. Which means I gotta rig accordingly. Um, this might be a little bit trickier. I can do it though. Let's get to it. How do you like them apples? Uh, you got it. Yep. Inside. Oh yeah, dude. That passenger axle's toast. Uh, totally damaged. Wow. Then you know what? I'm gonna have to hold it while he winches it back. So the same method we did for the trailer, we're gonna do for this. As you guys saw, that front axle was all jacked up. Wouldn't be able to winch it back because the wheels aren't gonna roll straight. So I'm gonna keep it suspended. And as Dave winches back, I'm gonna rotate and follow. Oh, it's gonna be sweet and heavy. Hey, Hulk lifted it pretty easy. Considering how far out I am. And I'm not even off the side, I'm towards the back, the corner. Or oh, you know what, check it out. Why don't you put in the master link the, inside the hitch and then on the grab hook part, attach it to your chain, right? Oh yeah. Easy peasy.
You ready? All right. Go for it. Okay, hold it there. I might have to go to the bumper pins now. Let's see what it looks like. That tree is what worries me. Maybe I could get it a little bit more. A little bit more. If I drop it here, I could try. Let me get it a little bit more. Chin. Now I could reposition. All right. I have to. Yeah. You got Peterbilt uh, pull pins? Yeah, but it's gonna be a pain to get over there and put them in. I could lifty lifty. All right, the bumper pins won't fit because the bumper's all tweaked. So it's just a few bolts right there. We're gonna take off the bumper to fit in those bumper pins. Very good, as you can see. Whoa! I was close. <laughs> so like I was saying, I've maxed out there. I can't swing any further because of the tree. So we're going to go to the pins. That way I will take forward and I'll have a lot more room. Then by the time I max out again, I'll just drive forward. I'll be on the inside of the tree and I can go to the, the frame again.
Right. Ricardo's got the bumper off. Dave's just gonna install the bumper pins. And you see how this tree right here is hindering me. If I swing any further, I'm gonna run into it. So once I drop it, I'll attach to the bumper pins. That'll give me like 10 more feet. And once I run out of room again, I'm gonna position Hulk on this side of the tree. Just like we did with the trailer. And then once here, I mean, I'll just go to the street and Dave and I will do a, a mid-air rotation. Again, just like the trailer. And then tow it back to the shop for insurance to uh, decide what to do with it. Really puts things into perspective, huh? By the way, this is the off-ramp where you see this car right here. This is where the guy came from. All gas, no brakes. Round two. You can leave the chain. Huh? You can leave the chain. Just take off the, uh... oh, you want to put snatch block? I get it. That's cool. That's cool. Just don't scratch the paint. I'm gonna tighten up now, okay? Hold it. How's that tree branch? Keep pulling. Okay. 
Okay, right. Right there? <laughs> Now I drop it. Okay. Amazing, dude. Oh, yes. Oh, Let's pull hook forward and we're re-rigging. Last one. All right, that was dope. So now we're in position to do the final re-rig. I don't know if I like this angle. I'm probably gonna have to use my straps. Uh, no, actually it's fine because I'm gonna be on the inside of this. So Dave and I are going to do a, a mid-air rotate again, lift it up, and set it right on my underlift. Right on this puppy. have to go here no more well this worked awesome man you got your 5 8 chain uh, around the frame connected to my 5 8 chain clutch and then connected to my wide body shackle the front yeah I'm gonna take this off though I'm gonna use the straps and I'm gonna use the same straps for the front yeah, the, I'm gonna go on the front now with these straps. No, 
Those go on the boom, on the snatch block, and then this end goes in the, the front pin. Okay, just take this one, put it in the Yeah, so, so this one's the one that's already disconnected. So like this end will go to my snatch block, and then this end goes in the bumper pin. One on each end. And the, and the chain no, I'm gonna get rid of the chain and all that. So instead of the chain, I'm gonna use those traps. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, because the 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 bracket don't allow us to put the pins in. I'm gonna use. Uh, I'm still gonna use the, this the same method. Check it out. This chain's stronger. Will this fit? I guess, yeah. So that you'll just wrap it around there. Oh yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah, then I don't need this. Let me get my boom over first, it'll make it easier. Throw it, throw it at me. Come this way. Well, take out the chain. <laughs> I was gonna pull it this way. Well, cause, all right. Not here. Thank you. By the way, I got stuck earlier when I drove out. So a quick trick. I put the boom all the way forward and extend it out to put more weight on the front. Lift up the rear a little bit. ready to go. Fun, fun, fun. Ah. Okay, perfect. Other side. This one goes on this side. Because if you imagine it, once it's behind my truck, it's gonna be facing this way and this line's that way, you don't want them to cross. So this is how I'll do it. Let me get my shackle. Oh, 100%. No, 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 the chain, yeah, but the bracket. Yes, because it's only going to lift the front, and Dave and I are dispersing the weight 50 50 this way. Hold on, oops. Do you need more? No, 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 let me, uh, there. You can open a little bit more, and you have more space here. So you want it closer? Like this, yeah. You want to close it? This is good. Okay, this is great. So now we go on the inside of this. Pull up on the white, pull up on the blue.
got to let me stand on this side so I see. I'll get it right now, hold on. On, on this side, on the on the grill, right, right there's good, perfect. All right, sir, we're ready. I'll give you the camera right now. Ready? Boom up. Boom up. Go in with the cables. More. There you go. Can, I, yeah, can you rotate that way first? I want to get it off this curb. Beautiful, thank you. Tire just came off. I love it. Well, where do you want to put it? Oh, okay. 
I thought we were gonna put it on my underlift. Hold on. All right. Okay. Oh, where the tire go? Right there? Drop it fully. The other side. There you go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Dope, dope. Okay. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna keep it suspended so Dave can block it. Alright guys, Dave has it blocked. We're just gonna throw in his chain so we can chain sling this baby out of here. I'm gonna put Hulk away super quick so we can clear the scene. I told those guys two hours and I mean it. So I'll put the camera away for that part. And I'll come back to you guys when we're all good to go. Alright guys, I put away Hulk super quick. It's getting very busy at the shop. So I'm gonna break free. Uh, so Dave can pull forward, he's already got his rigging set up. He's out of here. I'm out of here and Ricardo's out of here. Hope you all enjoy this cool one. Let me know what you think of all the cool angles and quality of this one. Peace.